Welcome to the vignette data entry. In order to create your spreadsheet, you can start from our MetaLab template that you can find on the MetaLab website. Uh, I will now show you how to create a copy of this template. Uh, you click on File in Google Docs and on Make a Copy, and then you can call it My Meta Analysis. <laughs> Click OK and now you have a new spreadsheet within your Google Drive that you can now start coding your papers with. So let's start with coding our seminal paper. Assuming we have already filled in facts like general study descriptors and some other descriptors in the method section, we can directly scroll down to the results section um, and search for our dependent measure. Here it can be a good idea to use the annotation tools provided with your PDF reader. Um, in this case, um, our reader doesn't even recognize this as regular text, which can happen with older PDFs, so you might have to use the drawing tools rather than the text tools. In any case, it can be a good idea to mark the passages that you're actually putting into the database so you or others can later find them back. So in this case, we see that um, for familiar, uh, we have two values, one for familiar words and one for unfamiliar words. And we can add that into our database. You see that we here had means and standard deviations. Uh, if you encounter standard errors, this is also okay because you can convert between standard errors and standard deviations if you have information on the sample size. Just pay attention that you don't confuse the two. Uh, in this case, we have found these numbers written out in a text, but it can also happen that you only have figures. In case you do not have uh, the means and standard deviation or standard errors written out in the text, you can still estimate them by using a tool called Webflow Digitizer. Uh, as you can see here, after you have uploaded a screenshot of uh, the figure in your paper, you can use this tool to scale the axis and then you can define the points between the bars and the standard error so you can estimate the size of the standard error. Uh, after you have specified the points, you can click on View Data and you will get the values. And for instance, for this one, you would subtract uh, the value for SE0 from bar 0 to get the standard error. However, low figure quality may result in errors. This is something worth marking in the notes, both to remember for the future and as a potential note to contact the paper author. If you decide to estimate values from figures, add a column to keep track of this. Finally, T or F values for the main effect in combination with sample sizes can be used to calculate coins D. Note them when available. For our example, the T value is 2.42. For within participant studies, Effect sizes are calculated the same way as in between participant studies, but in order to calculate the weight of these studies, the correlation between the first and second measurement is required. To account for the amount of within participant variation. However, the correlation is not always reported. If so, it is a good strategy to check back with the authors. More on that in another video. Once you have correlation information for part of the studies, you can use imputation techniques to impute the remainder. Lacking contact with authors, you still have other options available. For example, you could use various sampling techniques from your other studies to estimate an appropriate correlation. When entering papers, please remember a key thing. All analyses are done by machines, and machines cannot read text. So if a column is numeric, please do not enter things that aren't numbers, such as text, spaces, special symbols, etc. This is particularly important for the dependent measures. Assuming you are able to add the statistics for the paper, go ahead and add the rest of the information, such as the unique study ID, coder, etc. 
At this stage, you might find that a given paper does not contain the right information for being included. In this case, you can and should exclude it. If you have already started entering it, you can leave the information you entered and put in comments that the entry is incomplete. Continue this procedure until you have added all of the papers possible to your spreadsheets.